Hey guys, I'm Abby. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm starting another quilt. Um, this quilt I've actually done the pattern for before, but I'm of course doing it in different fabrics than last time. It's kind of a little special quilt because this is going to end up being a gift to my sister. The pattern I'm going to do is the flower garden quilt. Um, I'll link the video where I originally did this pattern, but if you watched it already, you'll know that this is actually the pattern the first pattern that my sister designed and um, released. She has since designed and released, I think four other patterns. I've done two of them, but the next one, she's about to start a quilt along for one of them. It'll be my third of her five patterns to do, four patterns. But anyways, she's worked very hard to release these patterns all this year. Me and our whole family are very proud of her. She's worked very hard. And a lot of the time she's been also working full time. So today I'm gonna start making a quilt for her. So if you don't know, um, when you are a quilt pattern designer like my sister, most of the quilts you make are samples or different versions of the quilts you design. So basically all my sister has time to sew and quilt are her designs for her, you know, like promoting them and showing them off. And she also is in a couple lookbooks. So she makes her quilt patterns in the lookbook fabrics to send to the companies to show off. So, so basically she just does all her patterns all the time in um, just different fabrics to show off on her Instagram, which of course she likes doing. She likes making her quilts. She likes her patterns and she gets to choose the fabrics for the most part of what they're gonna look like. But I thought I would make her a quilt kind of uh, as a congratulations for your like first year of quilt pattern writing and releasing and so I'm going to make it a theme of Harry Potter and then I'm going to do it in her first pattern that she released so I chose Harry Potter because my sister is a huge Harry Potter fan she's watched the movies countless of times um, she's read the books I remember watching her read the books like as they came out but also while she's doing most of her sewing and designing and like work for her quilt pattern writing and such, she usually listens to the audiobooks of Harry Potter. So you can tell she's a big fan of Harry Potter and I saw these Harry Potter fabrics and I was like, you know, she doesn't have time to like make a Harry Potter quilt. I want to make one for her and I decided to use her first fabric or first pattern design to kind of like make it in so it's very her and I think she will really love it. Um, again, she doesn't have time to like make a quilt like this for herself so I really wanted to do it for her and kind of like gift it to her. I'm hoping, I might just like give it to her. I might wait till Christmas, but I really wanted to make this quilt for her because I saw the fabric sounds like this is perfect for her. Uh, but I will show you guys real quick the fabrics I got. So kind of as a reminder of what the pattern looks like if you haven't watched the video. So this is my sister's kind of company for her pattern rights, White Rose Designs. And this was the first quilt pattern she released and you can see it's got a lot of different types of fabrics. It's very easy. I, I really liked the fabrics I chose for the first time I made this and the video you see what I used but it is super simple and so I decided to use this as her as the pattern for her Harry Potter quilt. And then these are all the fabrics. I'm gonna lay them out real quick. So these are like the main fabrics I used so it calls for like nine fat quarters, uh, but I just got, you know, by the bolt. But I'm going to double up on the whites and the blacks and then have one square of the gray. But I saw all these and I thought they would be great as these main squares within her pattern. Plus they're all like simple but really cute Harry Potter. We have like the golden finch. We have just the name title. And then this is like the newspaper looking type fabric. And then we have little lightning bolts and glasses. And then of course the Deathly Hollows symbol. And so I decided, I saw all these, all these fabrics I got at Joann's. Um, they have a lot more like designs of Harry Potter, but I wanted to kind of stick with all the basic colors and ones that go together. So these are going to be like the main squares of the pattern. I think she's really going to like this. I think these are really going to look good within it and you definitely tell they're all Harry Potter theme. And then to go with it, within our pattern she has the 
pattern pieces, but then also these solid colors. So I chose this red, I have a white, and then this is like a gray taupey color. I think these are gonna be my two main colors, and then this is like the borders or the strips go in. See the picture has white strips, I'm gonna keep the a white, and then the red and the gray are gonna be these colors. For the back, I decided to go with this really cool print of the Marauders map. I think it's gonna be really good all spread out. I thought it was a little too big or busy to do as one of my squares, so I just got it for the back of the quilt, which I'm excited for. And then that's one of the reasons I picked red, because of the back has this red. But also, I think if, my sister hasn't been sorted, but I think if she has, if she was sorted, into a house she would probably be Gryffindor. I'm not 100% sure, but I think she's a Gryffindor type person. Plus, also being a Harry Potter themed quilt, I think since he is in Gryffindor, it's appropriate to pick that as the main color of this quilt. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna start on today is this Harry Potter quilt. I'm really excited to do it and be able to give it to my sister. I think she's gonna really love it. I'm really glad I could get all these fabrics to work like within her pattern. And I think it, uh, just the design of it will really show off the fabrics well. And I think the red will really pop. You know, I said I picked it cause it's the kind of the main color of Harry Potter. Um, but also I think she'll be a Gryffindor. In case you're wondering, I'm actually been sorted. I have been sorted and I am Slytherin so different houses but but I think she definitely would be a Gryffindor because she's already kind of told our family that she wants to make uh for Christmas gifts she wants to make handmade things and so I think it'd be cool to return like a handmade gift to her I might be too excited to just give it to her depends but yeah uh I'm gonna start by ironing and cutting out all these pieces and then get to sewing it all together I can't wait to see how it turns out Okay, so I finished ironing and this is just a little bit better look at the fabrics all together. I, this is the first time I actually used some starch on my fabric. Um, I just bought that uh, as a request for my quilter, which is my mom. She said it would help with, I guess, like corners and stuff, even though mine aren't that bad. But I'm trying it out on this quilt and man, these fabrics are crisp and flat so I really like it so far but yeah there's a better look at all them together and I realized when I was I guess measuring them out and ironing them and such I told you a little bit wrong information um, I told you that the background was gonna be white but it's actually gonna be this gray so I'm just switching these in the place I'm gonna do them in the quilt so it's gonna be a little bit darker of a quilt um, than I originally would have looked like but I think I chose that for a reason um, just to make the print stand out a little more yeah now I just have to get cutting All right guys, so I think it's been a while since I've worked on this quilt um, from the last clips you saw, but I'm pretty sure I finished cutting everything. <laughs> It's been it's been really kind of a few weeks, maybe even a month since I've worked on this quilt. I think the last things I did was finish cutting everything uh, because I do have everything setting out cut. So I think what I need to do next is just like start piecing this quilt together. Since it's been a while since I started this quilt, I have actually redone my room. That should have been like the last video that came out was me kind of showing the new setup. But yeah, I haven't, there's been a lot of like not quilting or sewing in general um, and then I moved everything and it was just kind of like reorganizing things but other than that the only thing I've been really working on is a quilt along that I'm doing on Instagram but even that I'm like sort of behind so yeah it's I've been kind of slow with my sewing trying to get really back into it so today I'm gonna work a lot more on my Harry Potter quilt for my sister figured out I just how I left it was just cutting so now I just need to start sewing you can see I have all the pieces cut and then all my strips and stuff of all the colors so yeah I just need to move on to the next step which is sewing and more cutting so we can get a lot of work done on this quilt so yeah I'm just gonna get started on this yeah and then get just back into getting this quilt done so I can hopefully get it to her for like Christmas because <laughs> it is now the beginning of November <laughs> Thank you. 
So I got the first part sewn and cut and I forgot this was the first quilt I've tried starch on all my fabrics and everything's so like crisp. It's really kind of nice. And I think I also forgot I, instead of doing like a usual white background, I'm doing a gray background, but I have white as like one of my colors. <laughs> and so thank goodness I wrote down on like my reference sheet paper of what each color was. Otherwise I probably would have forgot and done the wrong thing. These kind of remind me of like Indonesia or Poland flags, depending on which way you flip it which I think is kind of funny but but yeah I forgot how quickly this quilt can come together so just now have to sew a ton of little squares to make these and then I can start uh sewing them on to pattern pieces or like pattern fabric pieces I really like the uh contrast that I picked apparently for my dark and light colors Okay, so it's been a while since I filmed again, but I have worked on the quilt a little bit. So I've decided it's not gonna be a Christmas gift. I know I kind of said that earlier, but it's just taken me a long time and I stop and like work on other things in between this quilt. Um, so it's not gonna be done in time for Christmas. So, but I will eventually finish it. It's not a big deal that it's not a Christmas gift. It's obviously for my sister, so I can give it to her anytime I want. Um, but <laughs> I'll show you guys where I am um, in this quilt. It's It's been like weird breaks and such long breaks. I forget what I filmed, so I'm sorry if this um, video is a little chaotic, but I, I am like slowly making progress, but I've been working on other things and just like putting it to the side so eventually I will finish and I'll continue this video but um, it's a little choppy of what I filmed and what I have not usually you know I do a quilt faster and so I can remember what I filmed what I've done um, but this time no but I'll show you where I am on this quilt real quick and we'll go from there you can see this is uh it's getting closer to Christmas because tomorrow's December 1st. Got my Christmas tree ready to put in the window on this quilt. I've gotten the first like strip set done. Um, it's looking really good. And uh, so this is like strip set A and I'm like halfway done with strip set B. So this, I'd, I've done this part. So now I have to just put the pattern fabric and cut it to put it on the other side. So uh, they're coming along, but you know, I just take long breaks in between. I have, you know, my little four patches over there and these have been hanging and these fall off the chair all the time, but I have everything ready. Um, this is one of the quilts I've been working on. This is actually finished. Um, this is one of my sister's who the quilt is for's pattern. Um, I finished it, it was a so long on Instagram. It looks really good, I can't wait to see it all done. But yeah, that's one of the projects I've been working on a lot. When I'm not working on this, it's ready to go to my quilter, which is my mom. That's the backing and the binding. So yeah, this is where the quilt is at. Um, I can, can show you the kind of different block. Um, with these, I did work hard to like do them in the correct like position. It won't be the same for this because it, it will be this like just turned. So, but I have that fabric and then we have the newspaper one. We have the little lightning bolt and glasses, the deathly hollows. We have uh, that one again. Where's the last one? Oh, and then there's the center fabric, which is the snitch fabric. But yeah, all these are doubled except for the um, center, the stitch fabric. So, so yeah, it's coming along. Um, I'm really liking having the white out here. I haven't really started on doing any of the background pieces, um, which is the gray. So we'll see how it comes along. But yeah, that's where I am in this quilt so far. So still have a little bit of ways to go. Maybe if I stop taking such long breaks in between it, it will go a little faster. But it helps that I finish that quilt. But I think I will keep going and show you guys I guess when I get to this point which is the finished block right before we start you know setting the quilt up together but luckily this quilt is fairly easy to like put down and then pick back up and like know where I am fairly easy the only part is uh, I had to like write down which colors which was which I did that so it's fairly simple but yeah I'm gonna keep going on it who knows when I'll get it done Definitely not gonna be a Christmas gift. Maybe I'll have the top done by then, but I would have to focus on it a little bit more. But I think with that um, quilt along, sew along for that other quilt, it will happen a little bit more because I was working a lot on that quilt and I loved how it turned out, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, I can focus a little bit more on this Harry Potter quilt. I was hoping to do a Christmas quilt during 
December, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I'm gonna focus on this one, maybe do like a small throw before the end of the year and then just hit the new year with uh, doing different a different quilt. We'll see. Uh, there's also a lot of like garment projects I'm wanting to work on. A lot to do, just need to like sit down and focus on them. But this is where I am right now in the Harry Potter quilts. But yeah, we'll keep going on it. <laughs> I don't know exactly where I messed up, if it was in the cutting or something, but all these strips have been like half an inch too long. You can see like the corners aren't matching up and have overhang on ev either side. I'm not particularly happy with it, um, but it would take too long to like figure out where I went wrong and like go back and fix it. And I'm already taking way too long on this quilt. So, I mean, they don't look super bad overall. I mean, I think it will get a little lost in, you know, once there's even another like strip border. So, I know it, it might not be a big deal, but I'm not particularly happy with how they're coming out. I wanted them a little neater, but yeah, I have uh, the first like strip sets on my blocks. I, I really don't know what I did. Maybe I cut something wrong. Like it seemed like the center was too wide. Maybe it was like this strip, but everything I like measured, I felt that was correct, correctly cut. So I don't know. All the blocks have little overhang. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Next, I just have to, you know, do the next like set of borders. They're coming together, uh, you know, not happy with the kind of the way they're turning out because they're just, they're not as like precise as I would like, but we're just gonna keep chugging along and uh, get this quilt done. Cause it's been a while that I've like slowly worked on this. On to the next step. <laughs> For my Harry Potter quilt, the blocks are done, and I gotta say, they turned out a lot better than I was expecting, especially starting like sewing on the strips with the weird sizing issue that was different. I really don't know if I cut them wrong at the beginning, or I don't wanna say this because it seems kind of ridiculous, but the only thing I really did different was use starch, and I thought that would help like make it more precise, but but yeah, I didn't have this issue the first time going around making this quilt pattern. Um, so literally the only thing I know that I did different was use starch and that sounds ridiculous that it would cause the problem but unless I really cut them wrong that's kind of what I'm going with. I haven't used starch since on a different project. Uh, this is my first time using starch so I'm gonna blame the starch even though it probably wasn't the starch but the blocks did turn out a lot better than I thought they were going to. Um, sewing on like the second row of uh, kind of like stripes did help it a little bit and I think with between the busyness of the pattern and some of the fabrics are a little busier they did kind of hide the little mistakes and kind of offness of these squares you know i don't remember having this you know problem the first time i made this quilt but i think the quilt will still look really good in the end um i do like how the blocks turned out i'll show you them in a second but yeah the next thing i gotta do is just make the quilt top and do the strips in between and kind of figure out the layout I want to do with the blocks. But yeah, I'll show you the finished blocks real quick. So here's the first one. Um, the blocks did end, up, did end up like finishing the right size. And you can see it kind of hides the mishaps of alignment and such just with the pattern. And then this one is the busier like fabric. So it does kind of hide it overall. So that's why I think this quilt will turn out just fine in the end. But this is like the magazine print fabric here. And then going in, I have like my two darker fabrics. This is like the Deathly Hollows one with the gold print in it. And then I have the glasses and lightning bolt one. So yeah, I, I think they didn't, they did not turn out that bad even with kind of like alignment issues yeah and then i have the gray harry potter one and then the stitch one 
so yeah overall I really still do like how they turned out um, now I have to figure out the layout for the quilt and so like the sashing in between them I think the pattern is down here but yeah yeah I fit my finished blocks yeah so now I just have to assemble the top and like pick which ones I have to cut in half and then which one is going to go in the corner to be cut in force. So that's next. This is coming together finally. I had, I had kind of hoped to give this to my sister as a Christmas gift, but I might just finish the top and show her at Christmas when she comes um, and then say, you know, it has to be quilted and binded, but this quilt is for you. And I think she will still really like it um, overall. And yeah, I'm still looking forward to seeing how it turns out. Yeah, I think having the blocks done, seeing that they're not as bad as I thought they would be, uh, kind of made me like this quilt a little bit more or kind of helped me think better of, of how this quilt's gonna turn out. So yeah, next I'm just going to assemble the quilt top and then it'll be done. Yay. <laughs> so I, did not end up recording any of it, but yesterday I went over to my mom's and she helped me finish the top of the Harry Potter quilt. So I can show you guys the finished project. Actually, there's like one, I have to put on one border, but other than that, see the border sashing, but other than that, the top's done. So <laughs> I want to say I did finish this before Christmas. It Today is Christmas Eve Eve. Happy Christmas Eve Eve. But um, yeah, it's all done. I'll show you the layout um, I went with that she helped me pick out real quick. All right, so here we are. So this is the layout that we went with. It turned out a lot lighter because we kept the blacks on the edge. So all these half triangles are these triangle um, Deathly Hollow prints. And then in the corners we have the newspapers and then the Harry Potter ones are like in the centers. And then of course in the very center is the, and on the very corners, the like quarter triangles whatever are the snitch fabric since i only made two of these blocks i knew that one was going to be in the center and one was going to be on the corners but i surrounded it with the glasses and lightning one yeah so turned out really nice i liked how it looked out the red and the white i think do well i did the gray as the background instead so it's a little darker than if i had like a white background but yeah this is how it turned out thankful that my mom helped me get it done it's just a lot of sewing and like organizing things so she helped me um just kind of get it done so i can show my sister it when she gets here she gets here like late tonight so probably show her tomorrow i just have to sew on the last border which is the red border it's like i don't know two inches or so but yeah this quilt is done i can put on the backing which i have here if you guys remember i did this marauders map backing fabric so this will be on the back it has the red like on the front um, but it's slightly different color we have finished the harry potter quilt sort of in time you know i think at the very beginning i was hoping to have this whole quilt done uh by christmas but we have the most of the top done you know the main part of the top i guess so i will sew on the border and then it will be done but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it took a long time for me to like actually go and do this quilt not because of the pattern or anything it's just i worked on a lot of other things during the whole process um it probably took like a month and a half in total but still that's quite a while for me usually to work on a quilt but i did do a whole different quilt during the time that i started this one so yeah it's nice i can show my sister it tomorrow and hopefully she likes it i don't think she has any clue that i'm doing this for her and she'll get it sometime next year after my mom quilts it and we bind it and then i can give it to her really glad i gotta do this for her and it's kind of also a celebration of her first year of her pattern making business uh she released her first pattern which is the flower garden pattern which is the one that harry potter is made out of um last january so it's kind of a celebration of one year of her, her pattern writing i think it's a good timing kind of gift for her she loves harry potter she's listened to the books many times while making the quilts so i'm glad i got to to make this for her but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys in the next one bye